wake up, wake up You know I love to see your face with no makeup, makeup I just need your attention, baby I see the way I the tension, baby This look is definitely dope.com Hey bosses, hey bosses Welcome to my YouTube channel It's your girl, Tuxla Boss MUA So if today is your first time stopping by You already know what to do, go ahead and Hit that subscribe button below Go ahead and hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it And yes bosses, don't forget to go ahead and Turn on your notification button. Go ahead and turn that notification button on. So every time I upload a new video, you bosses can be the first to know. I really appreciate that because if you do not turn on your notification button, you're definitely going to miss out on all my videos. And that's definitely going to make me sad. And I really don't want that. I really don't. So yes, bosses, we're pretty much doing a first impression today. And also my everyday makeup routine. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look going, I pretty much go in depth showing you how I got everything that I did in this video. So if you bosses want to see that, go ahead. Keep on watching. And before we get this video started, don't forget to go ahead and hit that. One life to live, but that's what me you go hard. Tomorrow no promise, so me not on me heart Man live without limit Man in it to win it Live without limit Okay bosses, so let's get into my first impression slash everyday makeup routine In this video, I'm gonna pretty much let you guys in what I normally do to my hair and face on a regular base Like I normally don't wear wigs I normally, when I can't get my hair cut, this is like my everyday routine. I'm gonna need a stocking cap for this look. The second thing you're gonna need, just a little comb. You can get this in your local beauty supply store. The third thing you're gonna need is the Absolute by New York. It's like a jet black color in your gray kind of thing and that's how it looks if you bosses can see it and after that you're gonna need the got to be invisible styling gel you're gonna need that what I normally like to do is put the wig cap on I look like I'm about to go rob a bank but that's how it starts so small crosses I have to use a little bit of rub in put the hair behind go in here is like this it kind of made my face look fresh if you can see I don't know if you think it made my face look fresh but it did to me all right so what I do is I go in with this my hair right now is like blonde reddish it's all over the place so I can't really do but much with it so that's why I use this it's jet black I go in and just draw an illusion of a hairline got to be glue styling gel and I'm gonna just put it on the areas where I colored in I'm just gonna do this side first because I really like to do it section by section And then I pretty much go in with my makeup wipe and kind of wipe the excess black stuff from around my ears and just make the baby hair looks really flawless for me. The next step is what I like to do is go in on my Becca Ever Matte Coreless Primer, prime my eyebrows because that ensure me that it lasts all day. Ooh, the eyebrow pencil I'm using it is Maybelline Expert Wear. And these eyebrow pencils are only like $2. Leave a link down below for every product that I'm using here today. And then go in with the pencil and just outline the eyebrows. Like so. And then I go back in again. So, perfect. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline New York Ultra Brow in the color Dark Brown, this right here. I'm gonna shade in my eyebrow with it as well because I want my eyebrow to look 
really brown and to tell you the truth i don't know really if i need to do this step but i'm so used to doing this step and i feel like it makes my eyebrows look really good creamy beige LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna clean this eyebrow up. This brush off of AliExpress a while back. I'm gonna try to see if they still have it online. But this set was pretty cheap, I'm sure. But I've just been using it because I really like it and I'm just it's just one of those things where you get costume to using the same brush all the time and you just keep on using it because it hasn't really made a mistake with your brow. I'm pretty much sure if my brows didn't look good the way I did them, I would change up my routine but I've been doing this for the longest. Go ahead with my LA Girl Pro Concealer for my lid in a color creamy beige. I'm gonna blend that in. All right, now I'm gonna go into my Mary Kay Loose Setting Powder to set my lid. I'll be using the same brush that I used to blend out my concealer today. Look, for my everyday routine, the eyeshadow thing that I'm going into is by Beauty Treats Face Powder Contour Collection. I'm using this today as my eyeshadow, but it's really a contour face powder by Beauty Treats. First, I pack that into my crease. This look is very simple, and I hope it doesn't look so hard to you bosses, but this is the most simplest look that I can really give you for you to know that you don't really have to do too much to your face to achieve a certain look. If you're not the type of person that really likes to wear makeup all the time, you can definitely go into this look to do what you want. Pretty much don't need to dip into this more than once. As you can see, this color is really pigmented. Now I'm gonna go into my NYX eyeshadow base. I'm gonna put this on here. And I think I got this idea from another YouTuber. I usually put it on my lid like this, and then I close open my eye really wide. And it, and it pretty much marks my crease lines for me where I could just go by the line and just curve it out. There we go. Just using a, a regular eyeshadow brush that I purchased from AliExpress and just dab that in on my lid. Here I'm gonna go back into that shade and just blend it out for a seamless look. Bring that in. And just make it look seamless. So the mascara that I'm gonna be using today is their Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. So I'm gonna be going into my AliExpress lashes, which I'm gonna leave the link for these lashes below. All right, into my Wet n Wild body crayon to just put that in my waterline to just open my eyes a bit. I'm gonna go into my Carver FX Blurring Primer that I received in my Boxy Charm box. Blur out these pores. Now that I'm done priming my face. So the first impression bosses that we're gonna be trying out today, this is my first time trying this foundation. LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wear High Pigment Foundation. So I got these two colors, and the color that I got was Cappuccino and Cafe. So pretty much I'm gonna mix these two together today and see how it makes my face look if it's full coverage. Definitely as a first impression, you're gonna be trying these foundations. I can't wait to try it, so let's see how it does on my skin today. 
So I'm gonna be using the damp beauty sponge. It does look like a full coverage. It's like covering all my spot, my little hickey. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if this is my exact shade, but so far it's looking really good on my skin. Wow, 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 wow. I am shocked. And mind you bosses, this foundation is only $4. This foundation from the Dollar General. So look at this foundation, look at it. It's like full coverage. It really went on really good. I like the shade. I think I picked the right shade. What do you bosses think? So what I'm gonna be using to highlight the T-zone area of my face today is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. So what I'm going to use to blend out the concealer today is my Fenty Beauty Blender. Now that we're done highlighting the face, we're going to go into my City Color Contour Stick in the color Deep. Very inexpensive. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this contour out using this contour brush. Blend out the contour in my nose. I'm actually using this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. That's what I always use. It's just, I always use this brush with my nose contour because I believe it gets in this area better. So my Mary Kay setting powder to set the T-zone area of my face. So now I'm gonna go into setting my contour and I'm gonna be using the City Color Collection Contour Palette on the go. Now I'm gonna go into my Ben Now Topaz Translucent Powder to pretty much set all over my face. And the brush that I'm gonna be using to set all over my face with today is the Anesthetica P12 brush that I received in my Boxy Charm box. Going into my Beauty Treats Face Powder Contour Collection, and I'm pretty much going to be going under my waterline and using the darkest shade in the palette. I'm using this brush set that I pretty much got from AliExpress. Set my face using the Mac Prep and Prime. So before I highlight my face, I usually like to use my Smoke and Mirror Marble Pro Kit. Go ahead and bronze up my cheeks so I usually go for the bronzier shade in there and just bronze my cheeks up to give it that bronzy look I've been loving that lately I'm gonna add a little bit of blush on my cheek and the blush that I'm using it today is studio makeup luminous loose blush I'm gonna be going into my pure sculpting palette to highlight my face today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Originator to highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna use Originator for my tear duct. Now I'm gonna go into Trailblazer. I usually 
like to go in with our bright lips to get it to just play off the whole makeup and just make you understand like I mean the makeup is pretty simple but the, the lips always have to be a standing piece the liquid lipstick that I'm using today is by Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Rio and also I'm gonna be using Ofra lip shimmer and also I'm gonna be using this Jessica lip liner that I purchased from my beauty supply store it's pretty dry at the moment so excuse me for that. Woo, look how pink this is. I'm gonna go now into my Ofra lip shimmer. And just put that on my lip to give it that little glow. Cause it's so drying and I really don't like that. So yes, bosses, so this is the completed look. So this is me on a regular day, bosses. No wigs, no haircut, no nothing. This is how I do my makeup. When I just want to go out with my boo or with my girls and just look simple. Like sometimes I really don't like extra stuff. So when I really just don't want to have all the wigs in my face or just looking too much, I try to just do this makeup look. And this makeup look always get a compliment. When I when I walk out the house with this look, people just stop and stare because they really love it. And I love it too as well. This is my go-to look. I hope you guys love this makeup look. If you like this makeup look, don't forget to give this video two thumbs up. I just got it from work to film this look for you bosses because I got so much questions on how I did this makeup look when I wore it on Sunday to go to church. So I just really wanted to do it for you bosses. I hope you like the makeup look. Thank you so much for watching bosses. God bless. Bye bye.